Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to discuss the latest events coming to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, most likely later this week. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So Lottie's Gothic Rose Festival event has finally finished and I'm hoping everyone had much better luck catching all the creatures this time around. Personally, I found it a lot easier compared to Rover's event, but I'm still wondering why we needed 11 Gothic lamps. Of course, the Rose Festival was pretty much the last event we knew for sure was coming, but a whole bunch of new events have just been announced. The first event seen in a recent sneak peek is a camper clothing event where we'll finally be able to customize the clothes our campers decide to wear. It's not clear right now if we'll be able to pick different outfits for our favorite campers or whether they just decide to copy the outfit we're wearing at the time, but either way, it seems pretty cool. The screenshots also indicate there could be some sort of cutscene once the campers are rocking their new outfits. But if fashion really isn't your thing, don't worry because a brand new mini game is being added around the same time. A new arcade slot machine can soon be found at OK Motors. This mini game is called Break Tapper and will let us spend friend powder to try and win extra crafting materials and essences and even some limited time OK Motors clothing and OK Motors furniture. I imagine this will be quite random, so go and water your friend's gardens and save up as much friend powder as you can just in case. Personally, I'm glad OK Motors are getting some love. I feel like I never visit these guys. Now, a brand new event was leaked over the weekend with only one screenshot described as a whimsical wonderland. This is most likely the final winter style event before the winter season changes pretty soon. Although not much is known about this event, it appears to be surrounding crystal style furniture. Most likely we'll see a bunch of timed goals and challenges that earn us all sorts of different rewards. And maybe we'll even see a new type of crafting material that will need to craft these crystal items. The picture shows off what looks to be a crystal tree, a crystal lamp and a gazebo or a pagoda. I imagine Lloyd or the shovel strike quarry will play a part in this event but we'll find out very soon. So with three fairly cool events just around the corner, it wouldn't be a new month without a brand new host the most event. Just today, all new villagers were announced to be joining our camps in just a few days. Freya, Dottie, Fuchsia, Eugene and Octavian will all be stopping by very soon. Of course, with a new host the most event usually means new furniture, a new essence and new amenities. I'm not quite sure which essence these guys will bring to pocket camp, but I'm going to guess historical just because Freya's shirt is historical in the game. However, there are at least four other types of essence that could be added though, including harmonious, modern, civic and historical, but I doubt we have long to wait to find out. And finally, it's Valentine's Day in just a couple of days and in traditional Animal Crossing style, the day will be celebrated by fellow campers handing out a Valentine's chocolate. I don't think this item will serve any purpose, it's just a pretty cool thing to have so you don't want to miss it. So yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff happening in the coming weeks. We do have scheduled maintenance due Tuesday afternoon, which will prompt a new update too, so I imagine once the servers go live afterwards, the events will begin. Personally, I'm really looking forward to visiting OK Motors more. I think it's great these guys are getting new content. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the latest events coming to Pocket Camp right now. If you got this far in the video, please comment historical just to let me know you did. That would be super awesome. And be sure to include what essence you think will be added and which event you're most looking forward to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.